this is Hannah Williams from Salary Transparent Street. Today we're in Washington, D.C. It's Halloween. Let's go ask some people what they do for a living and how much they make. What do you do for a living? I'm a legal assistant at a law firm. That's awesome. How long have you been doing that? Like six months. Oh, cool. <laughs> how much do you make? Not enough. <laughs> you mind sharing a range with us? Like 33. Not bad. Like 33 an hour? Girl, that's terrible. What are you talking about? Not a thousand, right? An hour? No, thousand. What do you do for a living? I'm a client account representative. Awesome. How long have you been doing that? Seven months. How much are you making? 75K. What do you do for a living? I work in asset management. Cool. How long have you been doing that? About five months. Cool. How much do you make? I make 80. What do you do for a living? All right, I am a teaching artist. I am also a virtual tour creator for art museums and art galleries. Ooh. I make around like 58, 59,000 a year. Nice. Do you feel well compensated? No, I want more money, obviously. But obviously I love the people I work with, like it has nothing to do with them, but I want more money. What do you do for a living? I'm in the United States Army. Ooh, how long have you been doing that? Two years and nine months. Awesome. How much do you make? I make around $70,000. What do you do for a living? I'm an assistant teacher at a special education school. Very cool. How long have you been doing that? I've only been there for about four months. Oh <laughs> what were you doing before? I was a babysitter. How much were you making as a babysitter compared to now? Well, as a babysitter, I made 25 an hour. Nice. And as an educational assistant, I make 17 now. No! It's a decline! <laughs> oh no! Teachers deserve more compensation! Please us more! Please! <laughs> Any advice for those who are interested in working in your field? What's helped you get to where you are today? Um, just stay in school. <laughs> get your PhD. Don't stay as an assistant. What do right. you do for a living? Well, I'm a registered nurse. Have you been a nurse, an RN? Um, five and a half years. Cool. And how much do you make? I make about $35 an hour without differentials. Do you feel well compensated? No. No, tell me I mean, more. I live in North Carolina, and our minimum wage in North Carolina is still $7.25, which is the federal minimum, so it's kind of crappy. Yes. Um, and the nurses there don't make as much as nurses everywhere else, and it's, it doesn't feel great to work for not that much money. Definitely not. You deserve, I believe, higher compensation. Thank you. Any advice for others who are interested in becoming nurses as well? Yeah, so if you go through nursing school, um, you can either do your associate's degree and then go bachelor's online, which yeah. is a really great route to get and like start working right away. Yeah. Um, and then I would suggest travel nursing if you can get like a base experience for at least a year and travel nursing pays really well and if you don't have anything tying you down to one area it's it's an excellent experience. I love it. That was such good advice. Thank, Thank you. you so much for sharing. Of course. Anytime. What do you do for a living? I am a full bottomist. Oh cool. How yes. long have you been doing that? I started in July. What were yes. you doing before? Before that I was a dental assistant. Oh, What made you make the switch over? Dentist. We just didn't, you know, not everybody is meant to match. Yeah. yeah. And now you're in phlebotomy. I love yes. it. How yes. much do you make? I make $20 an hour. $20. And yes. how much did you make as a dental assistant? I was making $19 an hour as a okay. dental assistant. Yeah. How did you get into phlebotomy? Uh, so I started off as a, uh, a plasma donation donor, uh -huh. right? You know, because I needed money. So mm -hmm. I was uh, donating plasma for a while. And then uh, after that, I was like looking at the machines. I thought everything was cool. So I was like, yeah. what do you need to qualify for this? And all they said that was a uh, high school diploma. So I was like, I got, I got that. You know, I got that. <laughs> so I uh, ended up just applying and like they hired me and things are going good so far. I love it. Now here you are. Any advice to others who are interested in either phlebotomy, making a career change, any career advice? Yes. Just like ask. There's so many opportunities for people without like XYZ qualifications. You don't need to go to college. I feel like there's so many opportunities out there that like people do need to see that yeah. are just available. You know, go it. out, ask. And you just shared a great one. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What do you do for a living? I work in uh, information technology. Cool. How long have you been doing that? Oh, uh... Well, I joined the military in 2018, okay. and I was doing it then. I'm now 40. How much are you making? I make uh, 
my salary is 187 and then I have other incentives, but yeah, so I, a decent amount. Any career advice for those who are interested in information technology? Um, it's tough. It's <laughs> tough to get. It's a uh, It's tough to get into it, but if you feel like you have it, you have it, and then you just need some like base entry level certifications, and then you're in. But you don't need college, though. That's the thing. Like, uh, if you just get some certifications, you can you can do it. Any certifications that you recommend? Uh, Security Plus. Okay. Um, and then if you like networking or systems, you could do networking stuff or system yeah. stuff. But that, that, yeah, that's what I would recommend. Awesome, thank you so much, that was so helpful. What do you do for a living? I do aerospace contracting. Very cool, how long have you been doing that? I've been doing it for two years. Two years, what's your educational background? Uh, I got a bachelor's in aerospace from University of Virginia. How much do you make in your role? I make $170,000. That's pretty good, do you feel well compensated? I, I, I feel like I do feel pretty well compensated, especially in DC. What do you do for a living? I'm a communication specialist. Cool, how long have you been doing that? A year now. A year, what's yeah. your educational background? Uh, I have a bachelor's in media arts and design from nice. James Madison University. Love it, yeah. how much do you make in your role now? I make 80,000. Do you feel well compensated? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. And any career advice for those who are interested in doing your role or what has helped you get this far? Any advice? Do those internships and it doesn't matter what your background is, you can do anything that you set your mind to. I love that. Yeah. Mic drop. Thank you so much for Thank sharing. Thank you for so long. You do so such cool. great work. Thank, Thank you. you. Mario, what do you do for a living? I am a post-bachelor researcher. You've been doing that how long now? I've been doing it for four months now. Okay. And yeah. what's your educational background? I have a bachelor's of science okay. in biology. Very yeah. cool. How much do you make? I make $41,700 a year. Nice to the team. Yeah. Do you feel well compensated? I do. Um, it's a two-year position, and the expectation is that I'm doing this to get a higher education yeah. in the future, and they help a lot with professional development, and so I do feel well compensated, yeah. yeah. That's huge. I love yeah. that. Any career advice for those who are interested in doing what you do? What has helped you get to where you are today? Yeah, so I would say uh, if you're in undergrad and you're interested in doing um, going into academia or going into research, get involved in a lab, especially if you're at a big school that has research labs, you know. Yeah. Um, reach out to professors, reach out to especially the professors that you have classes with and say yeah. that you're interested in their work. And if you have that research experience, it's so much easier to get into other labs because you have the basic skills that can get you there. I yeah. love that. So practical. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks for sharing, Thanks Mario. So much. Yeah.